Hello friends, I am Oom and today we are diving the fantastic world of FidoS and I must say the new version FidoS 19 is awesome and this just might be the operating system I was searching for and this time there are so many things so yep I will try my best to cover everything in single video but a lot of videos about FidoS are coming on this channel now the first and obvious thing I want to see is this it is based on Chromium 126 version which is like four or five versions older than the latest chrome os we can see on chromebooks or chrome os branch variant i believe yep it is called the branch version of chrome os but look at that it has hyper threading nice it has all the network drivers and finally my network driver is fixed you can see right there yep it is and it looks pretty okay to me but the main highlight the find os ai Look at that, finally their own AI is here. Let's try it. So what should we do like, hello there, enter. Hello, how can I assist you today? Well, tell me who are you? I'm an AI model created by OpenAI. Well, it is based on ChatGPT4 mini version. Okay, well like how can I access this? Is there any Windows A, Windows S? I believe it's Windows S. Let's try it again. Windows S. No, Windows A. Yep, it is Windows A. Just look at the animations. The one thing I love about Fido is, is the animation and especially the boot animation. So gorgeous and really just awesome. Well, we'll take a look at that later. But the real thing is, well, you know, it finally has Steam Gaming. Steam Installer. There we go. We can install Steam directly on the operating system without hassling with Linux. Well, I'm just gonna go and install it right away. This may take a few minutes. Okay, no problem. It's in beta version, but still it is awesome. And in the meantime, let's take a look at this. It was asking me to activate the Android. Well, I believe first we're gonna go with this Steam and then later we'll dive into Android. And yes, not to forget, finally, key mapping on Chrome OS and Fido OS all together. We can finally play games with keyboard and mouse. This is just awesome. Now this is the turning point which was waiting. Like really. This is the turning point where FidoS may... Not FidoS. Chrome OS is directly into the market. And we can finally play games on it. It has most of the applications through Web Store and Play Store. Like what's missing? And it finally has Microsoft Office. So my question for all the... You know, people who say Chrome OS and Fire OS are bad. My question is, what the hell do you want to do with your secondary device? Like, Chrome OS is supposed to be a secondary device. It's not a proper work machine where you can, you know, edit way to high quality videos. But yes, you get Lua Fusion, which is really an awesome video editing software. And then we have all the other things like Canva, Adobe Express, all that stuff. You see, and we have that all. And I believe there is a web version of photoshop also available let's search for it photoshop web wait these new features but still photoshop web and where it is where it is there it is now you see you have everything what else do you want yep i'm literally wondering what else and then they have this gallery application which was released a few versions earlier but still looks gorgeous doesn't it but you see, I don't understand a few things like, let me just create another desktop to show you. Okay, there. This wallpaper, like, why do they use such, you know, weird sort of 3D wallpapers? They first create all the scenario in their, you know, blender or something and then create a wallpaper out of it. Just use the real Chrome OS versions. Why hassling with these? Well, there are a few here and there. Oh my God, this one looks gorgeous. This is it. Now this is the wallpaper I wanted and this is the wallpaper which is gonna be on the thumbnail. What is this? Oh right, FidoS App Store. And then what else do we have? They have RDP which is I believe like... Okay, keyboard shortcuts. Wait, we can change keyboard shortcuts finally. And one thing which I really love about Chrome OS and FidoS is this. You see this. The material you design which is applied throughout the system. Just look at that. This is gorgeous. And especially on the browser. Alright, the browser was there. 
in desk first. There it is, and it looks gorgeous. And looks like it's gonna take some time. I just remember something. Let me just show you. Go to about Fido is to diagnostic. There. This is sort of task manager of Fido is without the task. You get all the information about CPU, RAM, and battery. And according to this, my battery is at 91% health. Now, this is the thing which really is serious. Like, this battery health shows that what is the actual health, not the, you know, battery life or bat how much charged it is. It's all about the health of the battery. So, if it's like way too down, you must replace it. And I cannot see that on Windows without other applications. Then we have Fido S settings. They're separate settings, all right? Well, this one. What is this? Enable wide wine for streaming protected premium content. What does that mean? Well, we'll see in the next video. But till then, let me just show you this. There, the latest version of Fido S in the website. Now let's see what are the new things like Fido S AI I already showed you. Then we have Steam which is currently being installed. It's gonna take a hell of time. Then we have the game dashboard which is none other than the key mapper I was talking about. Okay. And then we have the enhanced material you design which is like out of the box experience. Faster splits. Hmm. Nice. But I like that. What else do we add? Then we have the other things like oh. This is something nice. For the real stable version of Fido S, we have Android 9. Those who are using APU version, they'll get Android 11. And those who are using Iris version will use Android 13. This is something which Chrome OS should do. Then they have refined media playback. Let's see how this is. I do have a few videos I, I remember like this one. Alright, the videos are looking okay. Let's open it with gallery like the other one. Alright, there's just one gallery. Okay, no problem. Then we have customizable shortcuts I already showed you. With the recent upgrade to Android Apo system, the open G app installation process has also been updated. Okay, okay. Then we have enhanced input methods. Code structure, dependencies, fixed strings, all the fixes and all that stuff. Then they have LTE networking improvements. Those who, you know, have the availability of using SIM cards can use that. Then they have better account management and all that stuff. All the news. Then we have all the other stuff. But the thing which I'm waiting for is this and it's taking a hell lot of time. Like really. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Let's try it out. Let me just go to other desktop and let's see. Default mode. Then we have tablet mode. Tablet mode does look nice. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna install Android now. Well, using tablet mode just feels good. Yeah. It does. Yes, indeed. Well, the downside is it always opens things in, you know, full screen. Wait, Linux is directly installed. Well, let's go back to the laptop mode and default mode. Right. Now we have option to cast our screen, which I'll definitely not. And nothing else. I wish they had like fingerprint sensor availability or something. It would be very nice for those who have that option. Sign in, password and pin only. I have a fingerprint reader but I cannot use it here. Then they have options for Fido S. What can we do about it? Quick call, control plus C plus C, control plus C plus C. What? Right, this. Then they have the other settings of Fido S which are here. For example, the theme. I believe lights look good. Then we have the language model, well, we can make it use other languages, but I believe the default one is better. Because I don't want to hassle with anything. Even though I'm a Linux user, I just don't like to do that. Let's just have fun with the Fido S assistant here. AI, not assistant. Assistant's a different thing and artificial intelligence is. Well, if it can, it does support like PDF, then I have a few questions. Let me just, let's say I download PDF of a popular book and then ask my own questions related to that book but not specifically from that. Let's try it out. So which book should we choose like? Well, I'm a YouTuber so you see I have a few books like this one, The Journal Method or this one, Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zaratsky. Well then let's go with Make Time. No, the Bullet Journal Method. Or we should go with The Art of War. PDF. It'll be available here and there. 
I just have to open the most minimal one. So it has around 96 pages while it has around 6. So let's go on with this one. Okay. Yep. Now let me just download it. Save. Download it. And now let's do the thing which I wanted. Let's try. Let's test this AI. I right click it. Then open with FIDE. Is it actually open or something? I don't know. Open with FIDE. It's loading. What's that? Maybe the direct option does not work right now. So let me just upload the PDF. It's converting, right? Has it converted yet? Come on, tell me. Has it? Huh? Has it? Does drag and drop works? Let's try. I dragged and drop. Yep, it does. It's converting. Well, let's try like summarize. Let's see. Maybe it's a problem with, you know, the PDF itself. Let's try another one. Like I have a sample paper from CBSC. Let's try my physics. Sorry for the misspelling. Now let me search for physics where it is. There. Download. Download. Save. Now let's... Okay, right. Finally it has... So the thing which was happening was like... It was getting uploaded first. Sorry. You know. Festivals there. So it was getting uploaded. Now I understand why it was not working. Because my internet's slow. Or my internet's already occupied somewhere. Okay, finally Steam has installed. Let me just finish the testing of this. Summarize it. Now can you do that? Come on. Okay, it is good. It is doing that. The summary of the whole book of 100 pages approximately. Well, some other day because right now I have an important work to do. Stream. Open something. Sorry. It is here. There it is. There's the thing I was waiting for. And, and it's now downloading another 400 MBs. Come on. It's gonna take a hell amount of time. <sighs> Well, I'll get back where it'll be done. Well, I must say, like, I was wondering though, like, about which topic should I create videos next? Like, well, this is confirmed that I'm gonna create a hell amount of videos about FIDOS, its AI, its Android's new key mapper, you know, the game dashboard. Then we have Stream itself. There's gonna be a hell lot of videos about it, like approximately 10, 20 in the upcoming months. And then I believe Fedora 41 has finally released. So you might get a video maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And you're going to get a, a lot amount of videos about Fedora 41 too. First the review one, then the new features. And then I'm going to customize it to my way as I do with every distribution. And not to forget, making it suitable for my day-to-day -day work, making it productive, installing a few other applications. There's a lot of stuff to do. And that's something I love about this, you know, niche of mine. I always have ideas to create videos about. It's just, I don't have that amount of time. That's why I've purchased the book about make time. Well, it's flipped, sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> sorry again. Make time. If you know how to read, you know, the flipped version of text. But I will say, this is gonna really help me. And I'm starting journaling, so I've bought this, the bullet journal method, and my journal might arrive like a few days later. Till then, I'd have read these two books, so yep. I'm sort of a productivity geek. Well, I have a few notifications here. Remove, remove, activate the Android subsystem, but that's gonna take some internet, and I'm currently busy with other things. Come on. I believe the haircut looks pretty okay in my opinion, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments what do you think about it, this look of mine. I believe it's pretty okay. <laughs> well, 